Hola Aries, welcome to your mid-month reading for February 2022. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Aries for the middle of February 2022 and moving forward. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine? Any messages you have for them would be greatly appreciated and we thank you. What do you see? What do they need to know? Can you please show me general energy? Energies for Aries, general energies for Aries. We have the Nine of Cups in the upright. <clears throat> Make sure you click on the link below for your extra extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there specifically. The Vimeo link is in the description box. Queen of Rods in the upright in the challenge position. Your 2022 Sun Moon predictions are in my playlist. Go check those out. 2021s are still in there if you want to see if they rang true for you. Advice you have the six of pentacles in the reverse check me out on facebook instagram TikTok. not so much i'll try to get back to that uh like share subscribe donate anything you can do to support the channel is always appreciated even just comments even in the comments uh six of swords in the reverse as you move out of the middle of february and moving um moving yeah moving out of february into march or moving forward for the middle of february which can go into march so sitting here looking at this i mean general energies for right now seem good um nine of cups in the upright means you're happy you pretty much have everything um you kind of want everything you kind of need success abundance happiness fulfillment um but the thing about the nine of cups i often get is that it isn't the ten of cups so it's like that that tenth cup is not there yet so i feel like there's still goals ambition things you have that you're kind of focused on um or kind of kind of moving towards uh, but you know for right now for the time being seems like everything is just kind of working out for you the nine of cups and upright can be the wish card so it's like wishes coming true and you can't believe it it's being in radiant incredibly good health so i mean general energies look very very good um challenge edition we have the queen of rods in the upright at first I thought maybe this was you having a problem with confidence, but I get that this is somebody else. And I feel like it's a person, it's somebody who is very, um, a, a very strong person, a very assertive person. Could be a female or just have a feminine energy to them. Um, they don't like to be told no. Usually whatever, um, whatever they decide is going to happen, happens. People usually bend to their will or people usually do whatever um, is asked of them. And the thing is they do it in such a way nobody really, they don't, they don't offend anybody because they're very charming, they're very smooth in regards to how they go about um how they go about asking what they need or getting what they kind of need um somebody who's a leader um she's not a bad person she's just a very strong very powerful person and it's in the challenge position so i feel like this is someone kind of in your perimeter um and I get a little concerned because in the advice position, immediately what I got when I turned that over is that you're going to be taken advantage of in some regard and don't let yourself be taken advantage of. So I feel as though whoever this person's influence is, is going to end up, um, you know, you, you'll end up not being able to keep something that you deserve. Um, you may, uh, there might be something in regards to conditions that aren't necessarily very equal. Um, it seems like they're going to land on, um, the other person's side, um, because they're, they're assertive. They know what they, what, how to go after what they want. I'm kind of feeling, and it's actually going to, um, you know, they're going to be a stronger power than you in a sense. And I feel as though you're not going to get what you deserve is what I got repeatedly. Um, the six of swords as you move out of this situation i see you kind of coming back to see why so i almost feel as though it happens um even though you shouldn't kind of let it happen because here advice is saying don't let it happen be very wary to not be taken advantage of by somebody who might be selfish somebody that might outwit you or what have you um but i feel like it, it happens because here i see you kind of coming back and asking the right questions kind of saying hey you know i know what just happened why did that happen um i want to know can you kind of lay it out for me it's been bugging me so i do see you like trying to come back um because i feel like you don't accept how things went down um and you want the answers okay like, like anybody would want you know so it's not like you're gonna just go on your merry way and be like okay well i didn't get what i deserve um let me just head out i feel as though you're saying wait a minute and you turn around and you march back and say what just happened so um that's what i'm kind of getting from that let me start pulling clarifiers why is the nine of cups here 
in the upright who's this person what's this energy yeah i'm kind of puzzled because it seems like the energy around you is fine i mean um harmony there isn't any conflict any conflicts that you have had have gotten settled um you're liberating yourself from from things that were maybe holding you down before you're kind of looking at past things and reflecting on them and saying okay well i learned from this i learned from that i don't want to be like that anymore i'm going to move forward a different way i'm going to you know change things change my patterns so i see you kind of committed to doing that kind of breaking out that mental the mental prison of how you used to do things before and then we have this star card in the reverse um which could symbolize to me and i'm kind of getting the feeling it is the card of aquarius for those of you that um if that resonates but the star card in reverse to me is almost as though there's some challenge kind of coming towards you um and i feel as though you're gonna have you have a concern you don't necessarily know if you're going to be able to overcome what it is and it could be this person whatever challenge they're kind of bringing so i feel that even though things are really good i feel like you're being a little bit wary of whatever is looming because it's almost like you're feeling the force of it and wondering you know what's this going to bring for me and am i going to be able to kind of handle it uh, why is this Queen of Rods here in the upright? Queen of Rods too is a very confident person. Like I said, she she decides on she's going to do what she's going to do. Okay, I'm seeing. Wow, I wonder if she's deceptive. She could be deceptive. Um, I usually don't get that from the Queen of. I usually don't get that from the Queen of Rods. Um, but the you know it, it's what I'm kind of feeling that there is a little bit of. I I don't I wouldn't say malicious. I wouldn't say evil. I almost feel like it's a sense that they, they know what they're doing and they know they can get away with it and they feel that they deserve it and they're confident they're going to be able to do it. I don't think they intentionally mean to harm you. It's almost as though, what's a good way of putting it? Um, they're looking out for themselves first. I mean, some people will perceive that as selfish. I don't feel like this person does. I feel like they, they put themselves first because that's just how they are and, and that's how you win, right? Um, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, I'm seeing that money could be involved. So again, you're losing out on something. Um, I feel as though this person's gonna have, you know, the bigger pile of money, or your finances are gonna be affected, or this person um, <clears throat> wants something in a practical sense more than you do, and they're gonna kind of use that to their advantage, or there's a conflict over money. And then I see them with the Seven of Cups. Um, I see them, making something seem tempting to you so they're they're presenting this scenario and they're saying they're they're making it look really good so they can kind of you know reel you in and have you agree to something so they're idealizing it and i think you're kind of getting sucked into it because usually with the seven of cups in reverse i always get that you should kind of step back take a look at something don't get sucked into something the smoke and mirrors that somebody's kind of presenting um but i think whatever whatever they're doing they're very good at kind of doing that like moving shells around so to speak and then with Emperor's card in reverse, I'm almost getting a sense of them putting a type of pressure on you. Um, you know, maybe you have a certain amount of time to decide on something and they keep on checking back with you. What have you decided? What are you thinking? What do you, they, they just want to make sure that they're in your head, that they have a pulse on you, that they know, you know, what's kind of going on. Because I think that's part of them steering this their way is being very aware of what's going on with your energies. Okay, so that can feed into um, whatever their goal is or whatever they seem to want. Why is the Six of Pentacles here in reverse? for advice who's this person what's this energy yeah they're they're saying that this person is not to be trusted um you shouldn't really kind of make any plans any partnerships with this person um they they <laughs> um use your intuition in regards to this person um there's things that you don't know so if you kind of feel like you don't know what the plan is or there's unknowing listen to that if you feel that you should mistrust this person, they aren't going to pull their weight or something isn't right about them, listen to that, okay? Because they're saying that you might be overlooking details in regards to them and your intuition is going to play um, heavily into this. And the Ten of um, Wands in reverse is saying, just tell them no, um, that this is not for you. Um, you might have to say no thank you and release yourself for this person because if you do kind of get involved with them, um, it's going to be more of a burden than you think or there's going to be more responsibilities than you thought or it's not going to be the deal that you originally had. You could very well end up the victim. So they're kind of advising you to say no thank you to this person, however they, they try to spin it. Um, why is the Six of Swords here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? 
Okay, so when you do go back for your answers, uh, again, it seems as though what they're trying to do is they're trying to um, really kind of overwhelm you. They're, you know, um, anything they can get you to kind of back down. So they're judging you and criticizing you for kind of even asking. Um, <clears throat> I'm feeling like this presumptuous, like, how dare you? Like, why are you back? I thought we settled this. And I'm getting this real kind of arrogant um, attitude here. Um, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Wands in the upright. I don't, I, I feel like <laughs> the sad thing is, is that I feel as though with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, there's there's nothing you can do to sway this person. Um, I don't feel as though you're going to be able to negotiate or, you know, you're going to actually have to pull out of this and say to yourself, well, you know, I, I did the best I could. If I put any more energy into this, um, it, it's just gonna, I'm just gonna go around and around. There's gonna be, you know, I'm not gonna get what I deserve. Um, nothing's gonna be had out of it. So maybe it's just time to cut my losses and kind of get out of here. Um, so I don't feel like you resolve this with this person or get what you deserve. Um, and the three of wands and the upright is an indication to me. You kind of turn your back on this person and you say that your focus and your energies is better spent on different opportunities that are out there and thinking big, thinking expansive, thinking about a way that you can earn more money, maybe to replace what you don't have, um, you know, thinking about traveling opportunities and things like that. So you're, you're just turning your back on it and saying, I'm done with it. I'm just, it's time for me to consider something else. So that is what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and I can certainly set that up for you. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for your extra extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances and your health in there in my in my playlist or are your 2022 sun moon predictions. 2021s are still in there. Um, go check those out. Uh, look me up on Facebook, Instagram. I'll try to get back to TikTok. Like, share, subscribe donate um even if it's just in the comments um supporting the channel otherwise i will see you in the vimeo adios from veronica garnet aries bye